Hello everyone, welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to apply to the Master in Economics in the University of Constance. First of all, why should you apply to our program? Our university is called University of Excellence and this is one title that only 11 universities in the country have. Our Department of Economics is also one of the best in Germany. You will be taught in an international environment with students from different countries. The program is fully taught in English, so there is no need for previous German knowledge. The program also has flexible schedules. Starting on the second semester, you can choose when to have your classes. Also, the university is big and has different services, like a cafeteria, a copy room, a paper shop, a library, and many, many different services that you can use as a student for free. The program is also very complete and there is a fast track to a PhD if that is what you want. Also Constance is a very beautiful city that has great sceneries during the summer and a lot of activities during winter. Now let's begin of the things that you need to be able to apply to the program. First of all we will go through the documents that you need to gather. Then how to apply to the program. Some suggestions on my side and finally a small disclaimer. So this is a checklist that you have. You can take a screenshot of this screen and then print it so that you know exactly what you will need. First of all, we need a bachelor degree in economics, business, finance, physics, or any class related to the topic. You will also need a transcript of your grades. And this is how you prove that you have knowledge of mathematics and the skills that are required. Here, it should be very clear what kind of classes you took during your bachelor that will help you start this program. For example, econometrics, mathematical finance, macroeconomics, etc. Next, you have to write your curriculum vitae in English. Next, you need a letter of motivation where you explain why you want to apply to this program. Here you will state the reasons why you chose this program and this, ca this letter is going to be your card of presentation for the person that's going to assess your application. Next, we have the English test. You have to either present the TOEFL with a minimum score of 92 or the Cambridge with a minimum score of C. If you come from an English-speaking country or you took a bachelor of at least four years in English, then you don't have to present this this uh, proof of English. Next, you have to take the GRE test. Here we don't require a minimum score, but students with good GRE results have higher chances of being selected. And finally, there are two letters of recommendation that you need from your professors from your bachelor. In case that you did your bachelor a long time ago and now you're working, there is no need for you to send letters of recommendations from your current employer. If you can't get any letters from previous teachers, then just don't get any letter. And for students that come from China, Mongolia and Vietnam, please check the links that I'm going to add in the description box because there is some kind of process that you have to make in your embassy to be able to apply. Now these steps are how to apply for people that are non-Germans or that, doesn't, that don't have a German bachelor. First of all, you have to gather all of the documents mentioned before, like your bachelor degree and your transcript. You have to certify them with a notary. And once you have these stamps, you have to translate both documents with an official translator to English. I recommend that you first go with a notary because when you make the translation, then the notary seal is also going to be translated. If you do it the other way around, then the transcript, the notary seal is not going to be translated and this might be a problem. Next, prepare your curriculum vitae. As you're going to be applying to a master, it is more important your education background than your work, so give priority to this. And again, make sure that it's in English. Your letter of motivation should also be in English and not be longer than one page. Next, take the English test with, with plenty of time in advance so that we can, re, we can get your results in time. Same with the GRE test. And finally, gather the two letters of recommendation from your professors. 
Next, we have the steps for German bachelors. These are a bit different. But again, you need your documents from your bachelor as your certification and your transcript. You also need to make your curriculum vitae with the same specifications as before, your letter of motivation, you have to take the English test, and gather the two letters of recommendation from professors either in German or English. So a note for the German bachelors, you don't need to take the GRE. Now these steps are for everyone to follow. First of all, the application portal opens on the web page usually on February 15, but it's not necessary. Sometimes it will be later in February, so please keep this in mind. And it closes on April 15th. It doesn't matter if you apply on April 14th or February 15th. The time of application doesn't matter as long as you do it before April 15th. Next, you have to create an account on the university's webpage. This portal is going to be open during this mentioned time, so from February to April. First, you will need to fill out the online application. This portal is called SOITS or SEUS. It depends on how you pronounce it. Within the application, there are going to be instructions on how to make a PDF file with all of the documents that I mentioned before. You have to make this document adding first your, ser your degree of your bachelor followed by the transcript and the following documents are going to be specified there except for the letters of recommendation. These have to be sent separately to the email that is now on screen. Next, once this PDF file is finished, you have to upload it to your application, then finish it, and finally submit it. You will receive an email confirming that you have successfully applied to the program. Please be patient, you will get your results in 8 weeks. Now these are some suggestions on my side. The application again is made only between February and April of each year and there is no need to send any document by post even if the webpage says so, even if in the moment that you are applying for it, it tells you to send something by post, you don't need to send anything by post. Everything is made entirely online. Also, for the GRE and TOEFL test results, if there is no possibility for you to send this per post or however they are, they are telling you, then just take a screenshot and add it to the PDF document along with everything else. Again, you don't need to know any German. Please don't submit any other documents. Your high school degree or your work experience, these are not necessary. There are no interviews for the program and there are no fees to apply. And finally, we don't require any job experience. I would like to end this video with a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by the University of Constance. The views and opinions of this video don't reflect those of the University. And also, the admission on the program is granted by the admissions committee and even if you get all the documents and apply on time, only a certain number of places are open each year and the best applicants are selected. This video was made by me personally because I am in charge of answering the emails of people that ask questions on how to apply to the program and I hope that you find this useful so that you have a better idea of how to be prepared when the time of application comes. But if there is still any question to be made, then please just send an email to econ.msc at uni slash constance dot de. My name is Rodominguez and I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and don't hesitate to ask any questions if there exist any. Thank you and goodbye.